Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I'm going to show you a letter that puts YouTube on notice for censoring firearm related content. And it's magnificent. Now this is going to piss off a lot of people on YouTube. So if you think that the Second Amendment is more important than a social media platform's ability to ban or delete free speech, specifically the Second Amendment, hit that subscribe button right down below. The more this channel grows and gets the truth out there, the more it frustrates the anti-gunners, and that's what we're about, getting the truth out there and educating folks. So join this growing freedom family by hitting the subscribe button down below. Like the video so that more people will see it. Please share it as well. Yes, this, I don't know why it took me forever to find this letter, uh, but it's here nonetheless. Here is a letter from the Attorney General of Montana, Austin Knudsen, and he is going right after YouTube related to them censoring firearm related content. And it's great. On screen here is the letter and it's directed to the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcicki. It says, Dear Ms. Wojcicki, I write to express concern over YouTube's decision to remove legal videos containing speech disfavored by the platform. YouTube recently removed a video from the Rogue Banshees channel, which provided instructions on how to finish construction of an 80% lower. The removal occurred after five Democrat United States senators wrote a letter to YouTube asking the platform to do so. Now, I covered that letter when it came out uh, and put it out everywhere and called some of the people that were in the letter because YouTube was going after, well, the senators were going after individual creators. And if I can remember, I'll pin it above. To be clear, both the speech and underlying content in this video are lawful expressions of a Montanan's First and Second Amendment rights. The reason these senators pressured your company to remove the video instead of asking law enforcement to investigate the conduct is because it violated no laws. Instead, these senators circumvented the democratic process to pressure a private corporation to do what the federal government will not. So long as YouTube acts hand in glove with federal politicians to repress constitutional rights, states will continue finding ways to rein in the power of big tech. It is past time that you considered the consequences of those actions for your company's bottom line and withdrew your complicity from the trampling of rights disfavored by DC Democrats. Number one, the videos are legal and cannot be censored by the federal government. YouTube removed a range of videos for no other reason than their lawful content. While your company may have understandably recoiled at the heated language in the senator's letters, the facts are less dramatic. The truth is that Congress has never taken action to regulate the home manufacture of firearms for personal use, and the ATF has long regarded the sale, possession, and home manufacture of 80% lowers as completely legal. That bipartisan and decades-long consensus stems from a respect of both the rule of law and the constitutional rights of American citizens. While early American colonists were subjected to the whims of royal prerogative, we rejected that arbitrary rule in 1776. In its place, we established a deliberative process for making laws that govern ourselves. Congress passed the Gun Control Act pursuant to that process, but chose to not regulate the whole manufacture of firearms. Presidents from Lyndon Johnson to Barack Obama recognize that fact, despite their personal beliefs on its wisdom. If Senators Blumenthal, Menendez, Murphy, Booker, and Markey are troubled by the existence of 80% lowers, they are free to introduce amendments to the Gun Control Act to regulate those items. The fact that they haven't shows that such actions are unpopular even when Congress and the presidency are controlled by their own party. Perhaps more cynical, one might also conclude that the senators wouldn't waste their time proposing such an amendment when they know that multi-billion dollar media conglomerates like YouTube will bend the knee to the anti-Second Amendment lobby at their beckoning call. It is deeply troubling. YouTube's actions make it increasingly clear that it wishes to step outside of its purported role as a value-neutral platform and into the domain of politics. By continuing to travel down this path, YouTube makes clear that Americans' rights are under attack not by elected majorities, but by a political minority's insular allies in Silicon Valley. That state of affairs is undemocratic, anti-constitutional, and unacceptable. Two, YouTube repeatedly removes political speech it disfavors. The latest removal comes after a long string of similar censorship of conservative content creators on your platform. 
the United States Supreme Court has long recognized that if there is any fixed star in our constitutional constellation, it is that no official, high or petty, can prescribe what shall be orthodox in politics, nationalism, religion, or other matters of opinion. But high and petty tyrants at YouTube seek to do exactly that. To name a few examples, YouTube recently removed a speech by former President Trump at the Heritage Foundation for its political message. The site also took down another Heritage Foundation video featuring Walt Heyer, a former transgender individual who warned about the dangers of gender ideology. YouTube took an increasingly aggressive role in shutting down dissent over the draconian COVID-19 lockdown measures as well. Of course, YouTube's current efforts to prescribe the contours of acceptable political speech exists in the backdrop of general anti-conservative animus. These actions taken as a whole demonstrate a deep and abiding bias against conservative political views and a distrust of the marketplace of ideas. YouTube must start acting like the platform it claims to be instead of the publisher that it wishes it was. And three, if YouTube continues exercising quasi-sovereign control over political speech, states will regulate the service as a common carrier. YouTube's decision to remove speech it dislikes, combined with its monopolistic power, inappropriately flirts with the boundaries of the First Amendment. Increasingly, legal scholars are recognizing that social media sites may not both serve as a town square and exclude disfavored political speech. Scholars on both sides of the political aisle are growing increasingly uneasy about the monopolistic power of big tech and are signaling the need for legal reform. So long as YouTube flaunts its protected status as a platform and openly discriminates against conservative views, these calls will grow increasingly difficult to ignore. Many states have taken action to end big tech's tyranny over our political discourse, and perhaps it is time that Montana did the same. Florida and Texas recently passed laws which limit the ability of big tech to silence disfavored speech on its platforms. While the 11th Circuit affirmed an injunction against Florida's law, the 5th Circuit upheld the Texas law in a thorough analysis of historical common carrier regulation. That ruling is now on appeal to the Supreme Court, but if it stands, it will give states a blueprint for enacting similar laws that rein in big tech censorship. Conclusion. For those reasons stated above, YouTube should restore the lawful videos it removed from its site at the behest of five liberal, out-of-touch United States senators. It should stop discriminating against conservative views or prepare itself for the consequence of regulation. Sincerely, Austin Knudsen, Attorney General of Montana. Boom. Montana's AG just put YouTube on notice for doing what we've known they've been doing, censoring political uh, Second Amendment firearm related content and I like it. I like it a lot. What do you think about it? Let me know down below. I figured it was a great way to start the weekend with a little positive news, albeit a little late. I didn't see this. For some reason this went totally under my radar, but this is good to see. Guys and gals, again, please help this channel continue to grow by smashing that subscribe button down below. Like the video and share the video. That's how you help the channels you follow so that the uh, the actual the videos get out because YouTube even even in the letter it tells you YouTube stops this stuff so help us all get the word out and get the information out and until we see each other again be safe stay vigilant and carry a gun to keep you your friends your family your community safe I'll see you on the next one y'all take care